Now to the latest on an I-Team investigation, a travel booker accused of taking thousands of dollars from Bay Area residents, then never booking their vacations, has until November to pay them back or she faces possible jail time. ABC 7 News I-Team reporter Melanie Woodrow has been covering this story since 2019 and says the suspect has pleaded guilty. Bay Area residents who trusted Wendy Tenedora Wong to book their destination weddings, family reunions and vacations may finally get their money back. Today, Wong pleaded guilty to two felony counts. The Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office says she had been facing 50 felony counts. I think it's well worth the wait, definitely, as long as something's done about it and, it and it seems that it was. Victims like the Marr family told the I-Team Wong took their money to book vacations but didn't actually book their trips. In 2019, Rachel Nisperos and her fiance told me Wong hadn't booked their Hawaiian destination wedding. I wish we never crossed paths with her. The Vasquez family says Wong took their money to book a family trip to Mexico. I was really pissed off because there was 22 of us. Celia Vasquez saved one of Wong's voicemails. Crazy, crazy weather right now that's making everything adjust, and so there's like a lot of cancellations. I reached out to her and I kept asking her about the refund. She kept saying, Oh, it's coming, it's coming. And then finally, she just broke all communication. The Santa Clara County DA's office says, according to the plea deal, Wong has until her November 4th sentencing to come up with $155,002.32 in restitution for the 37 victims who requested refunds for the amount they individually paid. The DA's office says there were 48 victims and more than $200,000 lost in total for all victims, but not everyone requested restitution. If Wong doesn't pay restitution, the DA's office says she could be sentenced up to one year in custody and one year of mandatory supervision. If Wong pays restitution, she would avoid custody, but would still have two felony convictions and two years of formal probation, according to the DA's office. I really do hope everybody does get paid back that she's able to do that. Wong's attorney told the I-Team, we have no comment at this time. For the I-Team, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News.